has said um, unmistakably that he wants schools to open. And I was just in the Oval talking to him about that. And when he says open, he means open and full, kids being able to attend each and every day at their school. Uh, the science should not stand in the way of this. Where is the science on this? Because I know I know some of the studies, that are the one of the JAMA study that she referred to. What's your reaction as a physician and, and parent of three children? Well, first of all, I don't think you ever want to say the science should not stand in the way of this. I mean, I, I don't know exactly what she was referring to by that or if she was just misspeaking. That sounded like an alternative fact sort of moment there. Dr. Scott Atlas said, I thought this was a good quote. Of course we can do it. Everyone else in the Western world, our peer nations are doing it. We are the outlier here. Uh, the science is very clear on this uh, that, you know, for instance, you look at the JAMA pediatric study of 46 pediatric hospitals in North America that said the risk of critical illness from covid is far less for children than that of seasonal flu. The science is on our side here. Welcome back, everyone. The DNC hacks at CNN and across the former fourth estate have proven once again that the last thing anyone should do is take them at their word. CNN's Jim Acosta led the way Thursday when he tweeted out a purposely mangled quote from the White House press secretary. Wait a minute, did I just say secretary? <laughs> I meant secretary. Acosta's alternate reality tweet reads, the White House press secretary on Trump's push to reopen schools. Quote, the science should not stand in the way of this. Oh my God, as we know, science is owned and copywritten by the Democrat party and anybody who opposes them are knuckle dragging science deniers. Oh, and by the way, men can have babies and periods too. And speaking of science, please take a moment to hear about this special offer for my subscribers from Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. You likely already know what collagen is. Collagen makes your skin healthy and gives you a youthful look. It strengthens nails, hair, teeth, and gut health, maintains muscle, improves joints, and so much more. But did you know to reap the maximum benefits, you have to consume five different types of collagen. Unfortunately, it's extremely difficult and inconvenient to get all five types into your diet. You're getting five different collagen products in one. Not to mention it's odorless and tasteless so you can add it to any drink of your choosing. Ageless Multi Collagen also has a no junk policy. So no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. Get yourself a bag of Ageless Multi Collagen. I highly recommend it. As an added bonus, if you order today, they'll give you free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin. If you order today, you can save up to 51% off Ageless Multi Collagen. And rest assured knowing this company offers a 60 day money back guarantee, even on empty bags. Go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today or click the link in the description or pinned comment. Back to this alleged quote from the press secretary that proves the Trump administration is a bunch of right-wing anti-science heretics. There's just one thing. The quote being provided by CNN and Jim Acosta is not what she said, or rather not all of what she said. The president has said um, unmistakably that he wants schools to open and I was just in the Oval talking to him about that and when he says open, he means open and full, kids being able to attend each and every day at their school. Uh, the science should not stand in the way of this. Dr. Scott Atlas said, I thought this was a good quote. Of course we can do it. Everyone else in the Western world, our peer nations are doing it. We are the outlier here. Uh, the science is very clear on this uh, that, you know, for instance, you look at the JAMA pediatric study of 46 pediatric hospitals in North America that said the risk of critical illness from COVID is far less for children than that of seasonal flu. The science is on our side here. What exactly is causing the confusion here? She clearly misspoke, then immediately corrected herself saying that science should guide the reopening of schools. The press secretary was referring to a JAMA pediatric study that concluded it would be safe to send kids back to schools, saying, quote, findings in this cross-sectional study of 46 North American PICUs between March 14th and April 3rd, 2020, 48 children were admitted to 14 PICUs in the U.S. and none in Canada. A total of 40 children, 83%, had pre-existing underlying medical conditions. Meaning, this study shows that COVID-19 can result in a significant disease burden in children, but confirms that severe illness is less frequent, and early hospital outcomes in children are better than in adults. It sounds like science is saying that there isn't a significant risk to most kids, mostly just kids with pre-existing conditions. And this sentence 
sentiment has been echoed by the country's top pediatricians who were brought into MSNBC to condemn the reopening plans, but instead this happened. Would you let your kids go back to school? I will. My kids are looking forward to it. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. As much as I can. <laughs> Without a hesitation. Without a hesitation, yes. I have no concerns about sending my child to school in the fall. I would let my kids go back to school. Dr. John Torres, NBC News. They all said yes. I know, I know. It's simply unbelievable that CNN or Jim Acosta would do such a thing. They're such ardent professionals. So it might blow your mind to learn that Acosta wasn't alone in this blatant deception and other media outlets and pretend journalists got in on it as well. CBS News provided just enough of the quote to exclude the portion immediately after where she says science should guide the reopening. The increasingly far left Washington Post also left out an important part. Are all these supposed news outlets doing this on purpose or are they just really bad at their jobs? Either way, this isn't good. Former New York Times writer Jim Roberts couldn't hold back his utter quote jaw dropping astonishment, citing the Washington Post as his source of course. again. Did none of these people actually watch the press conference or read the transcript? I think it's much more likely that this is just typical drive-by media tactics. Another blue checkmark media manipulator, this time from the Times, also spread this misinformation saying, quote, the science should not stand in the way of this. It is a succinct way to basically capture the admin's COVID strategy to date. But that's not what she said. Our favorite CCP propagandist, Weijia Zhang, obviously couldn't be left out of this journalistic shitstorm, saying, quote, from the White House podium, science should not stand in the way of reopening schools. How do all these people retain their jobs? The answer is because their jobs are to be political propagandists, which they're doing brilliantly. They probably all got raises for this shit. The media has already chosen to support and promote Joe Biden for president. They're already churning out these polls claiming that the race is already over with Biden defeating Trump. So they have to do everything possible to manufacture that outcome. That's all for this episode. If you want to support this channel, one of the best ways you can do that is by hitting that like button, sharing this video, and subscribing. You can also support the sponsors that keep this channel going by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or just donating on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching, keep coming back.